Welcome everyone to this XR piece. Today is January 16th, 2022, 1.52 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. XRP is currently trading at 0 0.77006 with a circulating supply of 47,663,117,635 XRP. Thank you guys for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I really want to encourage you guys to let me know your questions in the comments below. I do read them and I do reply to them and I do respond. I You guys give me ideas on what to post. But I have been entering Twitter spaces, and I've been noticing people asking the question on how to use and read the Sologenic decks. And I know that's a question because I myself had that question. It wasn't until I figured it out, that, you know, until I jumped in that I was able to figure it out. Now I have a better understanding of it, and I want to share that information with you guys. Now I do want to say that I am not affiliated with any of the projects that I speak on. I speak on them because I find a personal interest. I am a financial noob. I am an NFT noob. None of this is financial advice. At the end of the day, you are required and expected to do your own research and due diligence. I also want to point out that I don't necessarily make these videos for them to be entertaining. I make these videos to provide you with useful information. This is what this channel is about. This is why I created it. I'm, you know, if I'm not providing value, then by no means am I expecting you to subscribe. But, I, you know, this is what this channel is about. It's not meant to be entertaining, but it's meant to bring you useful information. All right, so here we have the Xroom Sologenic Dex. I will be going over the Xroom Sologenic Dex as well as, well as the Exilla NFT project. Here we have the date versus the price chart, the XROOM token to XRP ratio. Each token is currently trading at 325 XRP. Here we have the 24 hour change and the 24 hour volume. Here we have the buying limit order book and the selling limit order book. Here we have the XRP spread, which is the difference between the lowest selling limit order and the highest uh, price for the buying limit order. So the difference between these two will create the spread. Here's where you can buy and set a limit order. Here's where you can buy at market price, where you can sell at market price, and where you can sell and place a limit order. Now, when you place a limit order, a selling when you place a selling limit order, uh, you can see the color is red. When you set it to a buy, the color is in green. So whenever you place one inside the transaction, it's going to be placed within the order book. Now, what, let me explain the order book. We have the price column, the volume, and the total price. So for this first uh, one in the list, we have this order that's selling a total of two tokens, and each token is being sold at 374. To purchase and execute this whole order, you, it will cost you 748 XRP. It takes 374 for the asking price per token times the total number of tokens. And then that's the total price. Same thing over here. This is when somebody's trying to buy and, and they place the eight limit order. They want to buy at this price, 324.9999 per token. And they want to buy 0 0.44, 2129 of the token. And for somebody to complete this order, uh, it would cost 143 XRP. Now, you can click on these. If they said you wanted to sell and uh, execute this buying order, you just click on it. It'll automatically fill in the fields. And you, once you place and sign the transaction, you technically execute this order. All the other orders will go up. Same thing if you click on this one. If you wanted to complete this order, they're selling two of them. So therefore, it'll change it to buy, and you're buying at 374. Once you sign and place this transaction, it'll execute this order. This order is now complete. It doesn't have any more tokens to sell. It'll get deleted. The rest of them will come down the list. Okay, so that's how that works. So I do want to go through each occasion of what happens when you place a an order for one extra room, a market price. So what's going to happen here? 
that once you place and sign this transaction, it's going to go, because you, because you are buying at market price, it's going to go through the current market. And the market is telling it that right now you can buy two at 374. So this is your, the market price is set by these orders. Okay. So it's going to, once you sign this transaction, it's going to take your order and it's going to say, Hey, I do have somebody, an order that will sell you one at 374. So it's going to take your volume. It's going to subtract it from this volume. It'll update it to one and it'll update the total price for this order. So after you place and sign this transaction, it's going to show 374. Now it has a volume of one and it's going to update this to 374. One token is 374. Okay. Now let's do if we bought 2.2. What's going to happen here? Now you're buying at market price. Therefore, we already know the first order is going to be executed. Now what's going to happen? It's going to take your volume. It's going to subtract it here. Now this order doesn't have enough extra token to execute your order. So this is what's going to happen. You're going to buy this for 748. So you're going to buy two tokens. And that's going to cost you 748. But you still need 0.2 left to complete our order of 2.2. So now that you executed this order, this order will now delete. And it'll bring all the other orders down. Now you still need to buy 0.2. This next order has 0.219 available to be purchased. So now you're going to buy the rest of your token. So, you know, you need to buy 0.2 left. And it's going to take this price, 374, 0.8898. So for 0.2 tokens at 374, you're going to be paying 74.99. 97796. Go back to the notepad. So at the end of the day, you'll be paying 748 plus 7497796. This will be your total price for 2.2 tokens. Okay? Does that make sense? So now what happens to this order? It'll subtract the 0.2 that you purchased, and it'll update this to 0 0.011998, and it'll update the total price for this order accordingly. All right, easy peasy, right? So what happens if we want to buy and place a limit order? So when you place a limit order, that means you want to buy a token at a price that nobody is selling at right now. So say we wanted to buy two, one token, at 320. Nobody's gonna, once you place and sign this transaction, it's gonna see nobody wants to sell you one token at 320. Therefore, it's gonna place your order in the order book. Now, it'll place it according to the price that you're trying to buy. Since you're trying to buy at 320, there's already orders selling or trying to buy at 320. It'll just take your volume of one, it'll add it to the current volume, and then next, it'll update the total price for this, for all of these orders. So it'll be three, 320 times 2.6233, and it'll update the price accordingly. All right, easy peasy, right? Now, let's do, if we're buying, if we're selling at, and we want to sell at a specific price and place a limit order. Say we want to sell at 400 Okay. And we want to sell one. Right now, once you place and sign this transaction, it's going to see nobody is trying to buy one token at 400 But what people are trying to buy, the first price is going for 324.9999. Okay, so it's going to see nobody wants to buy at this price. It'll place your sell limit order in the selling limit order book. It'll place it accordingly to the price that you're trying to sell it at. And right now it's 400 there's already orders trying to sell at 400 Therefore, it'll just add your volume to the current volume. It'll multiply that 400 times 4.9, etc. And it'll update the new price. Okay, easy peasy, right? 
Now, what happens if you want to sell at market price? So, because you're selling at market price, that means you're selling at what currently at what people are currently trying to buy. So, if you place this order, it's going to go through the first order, and it's going to execute this order because you have a total of one to sell. This first order only wants to sell 0.44. So, you're going to execute this much. You're going to get paid 143, etc., XRP. And then you're going to continue uh, going through the orders until your full token is sold. So you would also execute this order. Let's round up to just two decimal points, right? So now if you sell this one and this one, you sold 0.5 of a token. Okay? So you still have 0.5 left. So you would get paid 143 plus 22. And then since you have 0.5 left, you would... Let's see, 0.5 times 320 should be 160. And now you would be paying 160 plus 22 plus 143 for the total. You would get, be getting paid, sorry, uh, because you would be selling, executing this order, executing this order, and you would partially be executing this order. This order would update, go all the way to the top, It'll subtract 0 0.5 from this volume, and then it'll update the price accordingly. Does that make sense? I hope it does. If it doesn't, let me know in the questions. So now, I do want to go over the scenario of what happens when, let's say, people came in and they bought seven tokens. Now, for this specific project, XRooms, they are waiting to mint until the XLS-20 standard is implemented. They will be doing it through the SUM application, the XAP feature. And no announcements have been made as far as when that's going to be implemented. It hasn't been no announcements on when it's going to be voted on. And once that information goes out, you know, my prediction is uh, there's going to be an influx of people a flow of people coming into the space. And what's that going to create? It's going to create orders to be sold. The price will go up. So I sort of want to create this scenario. What happens? And seven is a very conservative number, trust me. If one person or seven people came in and they each bought one token, you know, we're going to be able to see how fast the price changes. Okay, so if... There's news came out and something happened, you know, Xtreme's got attention. Now people are trying to get in. Let's say seven people came in and tried to buy a token each. This is what's going to happen if they buy a market price. And I am going to round up to the first decimal point just to make it easier for me and yourself. All right. If it's 0.0001, I'm going to pretend it's 0.1. Okay, so let's start. If we want to buy seven tokens at market price... We have to start at the very bottom. So we would execute this order. So now we have to buy five. So let's count up two. Now we bought 2.2. We bought 5.3, 5.4, 6 6.4, 6.7, And then we would buy 0.2 of this. So from 325, the new price would update from 325 to 374.99 just by buying seven tokens. Okay, and that's a conservative number, trust me. I've seen Wells jump in here and go crazy. And that's what would happen for X Troops. Now I did say I wanted to touch on Exilla. And I want to show you how just different projects you know, how much projects can differ from one another. So let's go and take the same the same thing. We want to buy a market price and we want to buy seven. And we already said we're going to round to the first decimal point. And we're going to start from the bottom. Now, let's, let's, let me show you the difference between these two. You know, people here are selling full tokens. So the orders, we got two full tokens, three full tokens, one full tokens, etc. You know, depending on the on the project that you're in, you may have, you know, a bunch of people just sell partial tokens that they may have received in their airdrop. And 
specifically for Exit Lab. Right now, it's trading at eighteen ninety nine. There's been some price action right now. Uh, literally, it's just happened um, from what I can see. And this is what's going to happen when somebody comes in and buys or seven people come in and they each buy one token. And you can see the difference with these transactions. The price is a lot smaller, but again, we're going to round up to the first decimal. So we got 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. Okay, we're at 0 0.8 before the 1. They really should add an arrow on this. Okay, so 0 0.8, 1.8, 1.9, 2.0. 2.1, 2 2.2, 2 2.3, 2.4, 2.5, 3.1 with 6, 3.1 at 0 0.6, 3.1 at 0 0.6, 3.1 right here, 3.2, remember we're doing 0 0.1 for each one, uh, 3.2, 3.3 right here, 3.4, 3 3.5, 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, 4.1, 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, 4.4, 4.5, 4.6, 4.8, 5.1. Oh, wow. We were at 5.1 right here. 6.5, and then this order right here would uh, complete our order. So then if people, this is how fast the price can change, guys. So by buying seven, right now it's $18.99. We would go up to $2,500 as a new market price. Okay, why? Because there's so many orders. And keep in mind, I rounded up to 0.1. And a lot of these orders are 0, 0.00 something. So, you know, we could have maybe completed that one order. Okay, but that's how fast right here. We're going to go up to 2,500 just by purchasing seven tokens. All right, now, what happened here on the 13th? You know, we got a little spike right here. Something's going on right now. I need to figure out, uh, and I will after this video. But something happened here on the 13th, Okay. And I'm speculating this has something to do with it. So the NFT, uh, the Exila project, the moderators have been getting a lot of questions on the minting process that Sologenic NFT marketplace is going to have. And a co-founder of Sologenic, Reza, he replied and he posted, I am planning to buy an Exila NFT once live. And this happened on the 12th, uh, the night before the 13th so this could have happened on you know midnight you know i it, i'm not too sure let me see if i can zoom in no you can't this is as much as i i can zoom in but you can see how fast the price can go up so around this time it was trading around 969 and up here it went up to 1672 it went up around 700 dollars within a day same thing if same thing were to happen here if somebody were to come and buy seven NFTs or seven people, one each, the price would drastically go up to 2500 And even then, specifically for this project, none of this is financial advice and I am not affiliated, guys. You know, once this transaction is completed of 3.1, all of these are still microtransactions. It doesn't go, you know, right away we have 3000 That's the next report level. But uh, that's it, guys. I hope you know there's useful information that you found in this video. 
Uh, I'm eventually going to be dropping this channel and ghost you guys once XRP hits the moon. But till then, I'll be here providing you with useful information. If you find value, please subscribe and share. Let me know your questions in the comments. Don't forget, buy and hold XRP, the one coin to rule all coins.